See, it's the disrespect for me. How we gonna test God? But we're gonna test nothing else. Anybody in here ever caught a flight? To anywhere? I did a little reading, because I was curious. Did a little reading that uh, you, you see those guys with the little orange vests and little flags that they have. Uh, I look for the name of them. Uh, and uh, it's three of them for every plane. Because the plane is so large that it cannot uh, park itself and it needs some help backing up out of the parking space. So the, uh, so the Federal Aviation Administration, they have three people and their job is to make sure that the plane can come in and make it exit uh, safely. Now, if you've caught a flight before, here's the question. How many of you went out to ask them if they knew what they were doing? Excuse me, sir. Got a few questions for you. How many of you, when you're getting on the plane, stop by to ask the pilot anything? Excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, sir, I'd like to see your credentials. Could you provide those for me? Don't say a word, do you? We don't ask the marshaler at, at the nose of the plane anything. We don't ask the people at the wing of the plane anything. We don't ask the pilot anything. We don't test the students of anything. And yet we just trust they know what they're doing. And yet when God starts to change things in our life, and when God starts to move us to another place in our life, now we got all these questions. But here's the reality, my brother and sister. If I had no questions for the marshaler, if I had no questions for the wing walkers, if I had no question for the pilot, and I had no question for the stewardesses, and God has a better record than them, Lady, if I can trust the if I can trust them, then surely I can trust the God that has all power. My brother and sister, I came to tell you that every now and then we get tempted to test God, but if we can trust in anything in this world, we can trust in the Lord.